Doctors with Children Hospital warning families this afternoon about the dangerous rise in measles cases spreading across the country, and they expect the virus to eventually make its way to Wisconsin. Dr. Lynn Ranta with Children's Hospital joins us now to talk about what you need to know to keep your children safe. Thanks so much for coming in. Well, thank you for having me. So we've been talking about this uh, for weeks now and they don't appear to be going away. These measles cases. What exactly is measles? Well, I think measles we need to remember is a really serious illness. It starts out with high fevers, sometimes as high as 105. Um, you get other symptoms like a horrible pink eye and runny nose and cough. But the thing is, is that one out of a thousand people who have measles will actually die or have a serious brain infection. And a lot of patients who get measles will also get a pneumonia as well. We keep seeing a lot of families on social media and some right here in Southeast Wisconsin who are saying that they do not want to vaccinate their children. You're saying that is not the way to go. We don't have any way to treat measles. So the only way to protect ourselves and our children and our grandchildren is to make sure that everybody's had the vaccines and the full doses of the vaccines. At Children's Hospital this week is saying it's it's not a matter of when or if it's when it, it arrives in Wisconsin. What do you want families to do right now in preparation for that? And then once it does get here in the state? I think the first and foremost thing is check your child's vaccination rates. Make sure that they've had both doses of the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine. If not, or if you have any questions, please call your child's health care provider because that's what we can do now. I think the other thing is if you have a child who's too young to be vaccinated or if you have a child who has immune issues where the vaccine isn't going to protect them, I think you need to start thinking about where you are and who you're around mm -hmm. um, because we aren't sure when the first case will come. We know we will probably see measles in Wisconsin. Um, we see it in Illinois and Iowa. It's very, very contagious, so we expect to see it. So it's time to start really thinking about how you protect your children by vaccinating them and how you protect those that can't be vaccinated. And there are two doses. At what age should your children be getting vaccinated for? And the whole vaccine is the MMR vaccine? Correct. We don't have separate measles, mumps, and rubella. It's a combined vaccine, the MMR vaccine. The first dose is typically given around one year of age. The second dose um, sometime at least a month after the first dose. Most commonly we give the first dose at one year and the second dose sometime prior to kindergarten entry. Well, hopefully some more families will see this and get their children vaccinated. Thanks so much for coming in. You, you can find more information about the measles outbreak, including stories we've done in the past few weeks on our website. That's at TMJ4.com.